Maybe you inherited your mother's whiny disposition. That was a joke, because his mother's not whiny at all. Hey, I'm Brian with HVAC School, and I'm gonna show you real quick the vacuum pump that we use most often out in the field right now, which is the NRP8DI from NAVAC. There's a lot to like about this pump. It is a digital pump. It's very quiet. Uh, it's got nice, uh, just very nicely built. Um, and I want to show you how we use it with the Micron Gauge and some of the particular applications for it. So what I've got here today is the NRP8DI digital vacuum pump. I've got a set of True Blue hoses from AccuTools, um, which are the largest diameter vacuum hoses that are currently in the HVAC market. Um, they really pull a, a quick vacuum. I've got a NAVAC Micron Gauge attached, and then we've obviously got the onboard Micron Gauge for the NAVAC pump. And so a lot of guys have asked, can you just use the onboard gauge for the NAVAC pump? And there are strategies you can use to use that for your decay test. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of really cool things about this pump. It actually has a shutoff solenoid. So as soon as you uh, shut off power or if power is accidentally interrupted, that solenoid shuts off instantaneously so you don't use, lose vacuum and you don't suck vacuum pump oil into the system, which is a, a common problem that guys have run into. You get your hoses full of vacuum pump oil. So it helps keep your uh, dedicated vacuum hoses clean, but then the other thing that it does is it helps you see what type of pressure drop you have across your hose rig. If you're using quarter inch hoses or you're pulling through Schrader cores or you're pulling through your manifold, you're going to see that there's a huge difference at the system of the microns that you're seeing and what you see here at the pump. And I'm going to show you that while there may be a little bit of difference because no two micron gauges are going to read exactly the same, that these two are going to read very similar because of the large diameter of the true blue hose. So in order to get the full capacity out of this NRP8DI, you want to use large diameter hoses like what we've got here with the AccuTools true blue hoses. So here we go. Let's get this thing started up. All right, so in order to start this, all you do is you hit the, hit the power button and then you hold it in again. So you can see right now we have a very minimal differential, a very minimal drop across this from 75 here at the end of the hose to 49 back at the beginning. And again, there's going to be a slight difference. A micron is a very, very fine measurement, and so they could even be closer than that. But if you were to try to pull this through a typical quarter inch hose or through a, a manifold, you would see a much, much larger difference. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, let's try it and see what we get. So I'm actually using high flow vacuum rated hoses here. So these aren't even typical quarter inch hoses. And we're going to see if we get a difference in pressure drop between what we saw with the very large diameter True Blue and what we see with these still very high quality, but lower internal capacity um, vacuum rated hoses. You can already see now we have a much larger difference between these two than what we had previously. So you can see not only is it not coming down as quickly, but there is a greater differential, a greater pressure drop across the rig. And we don't have any Schraders in place. This is a high rated uh, vacuum rated hose here. If you were to do this through gauges or through Schraders, you would have a much higher differential between what you're seeing at the pump and what you're seeing at the system, which is why it's important, even when you have an onboard Micron gauge here, to have another gauge, but this onboard Micron gauge is really a great indicator it gives you something to test your other micron gauge against, and it also helps you test your vacuum pump to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to do. I'm Brian with HVAC School. Thanks for watching.